Hi, I'm Simon, and this is Tech My Life video. Today we're going to have a look at some of the more subtle differences between iPhone OS 3 and iOS 4, which is the new iPhone operating system or software that has been released today by Apple. So let's have a look at uh, the two phones here. Um, on the right hand side we have um, an iPhone 3GS running uh, version 3 of the software and on the left side we have version 4 um, also on an iPhone 3GS. Um, you can probably tell the difference because this one has a custom background it also has a slightly different look um, to the dock. We're going to jump into settings now I've got aeroplane mode switched on just to minimize interruptions why I make this video. So for a start we're going to jump into wallpapers. Now straight away you see a difference here. This one jumps straight into your list of wallpapers and you can then select a wallpaper which is only for your lock screen. Whereas here we've got our lock screen and our background. It is actually one big button. We press that. It takes us to the wallpaper and then we can select a wallpaper. So we'll select this one here. Now. Um, when we hit the set button, um, we get those same same options that um, some people may be familiar with from the iPad, which is set as lock screen, set as home screen, or set as both. We will set it as the home screen, and then we will exit back out, and there you can see um, it's now that grey background. So we'll jump back into the settings, we'll get out of the wallpaper, and we'll come down to general. And in the general settings, um, there's a few few changes here you can see that location services if we jump over here we've got on and we jump into a selection panel now here it's got a list of all the applications which um, would like to know um, uh, my location and um, whether you can deny that um, information or you can allow it and also you will see a little purple arrow there which um, uh, lets you know which um, applications have requested um, your location information in the last 24 hours. Now we're going to scroll right down here like so and you'll notice on this side we have Spotlight Search, it's not over here um, but of course Spotlight Search is still available it was in the home menu down here and looking at the two lists here um, although the order is different um, one of the subtle differences is Messages has now been added to the search functionality so you can um, you can search um, for text within text messages. Now, on this side, we do not have this home button. Now, the reason being is that if we go into home, we'll see that not only is the search in here, but we have two um, uh, lots of functionality for a double press on the home button. Now, a double press on the home button on I iPhone 4 is, I should call it OS 4, a double click is going to bring up the multitasking panel. Um, that is not available on 3 and so there was some other functionality there which has now um, been removed. We'll jump into accessibility from here um, and you'll notice that um, large text is now an option which is not an option on um, version 3 and you can see quite quite large for those with uh, vision problems um, and no other changes there besides a slight aesthetics change here with these two buttons um, or options being moved together. We've jumped into mail here and um, scrolled down past the, the email accounts that are at the top and um, as you can see there's one extra button here which is organized by thread and basically um, what that means is if you're having a conversation with somebody and you've got a back and forth conversation of emails um, you can uh, view all those emails in a, in a group rather than having to search through um, your inbox. As you can hear, see here where we've scrolled right down to the bottom we've got a default calendar that you can now choose um, for when you go into the uh, uh, calendar application and also in notes you can select which set of uh, notes your um, which email account those notes come from. So moving on down to Safari um, the first thing you notice in Safari if you go into search engines is that Bing has been added as an option for your default uh, search engine at the top um, of Safari. Um, there's also some more kind of advanced options and um, plugins has actually been removed and uh, a databases option has been um, added. Um, look, won't get into that because it is not something that the majority of people are going to be looking at. 
uh, and just jumping back into actually general I've just missed one little thing out here if we jump into networks um, we'll notice that there's the new option which is uh, cellular data um, which basically means that you can um, deactivate your data so um, your internet that kind of stuff um, but retain um, uh, your voice services on uh, 3G um, so that, look that's a handy little feature especially if you're um, uh, running a cap and uh, your data kind of limit is um, getting close to running out and you don't want to kind of incur um, over over limit fees and we'll just jump into messaging on both the phones and you'll notice that the new option character count which is switched on here and uh, we've got the uh, subject field off um, subject field off here if I just jump across with multitasking to messages um, you can't actually see at the moment um, the character count um, which is a little bit confusing the first time you do it um, but if we type some more characters or we hit uh, return now we can see the character count which appears there above above send um, if I just delete that back to a single a single line if we jump quickly back across quickly across to the settings if we put the subject on, uh, field on and we go back across to messaging you will see the character count straight away so it can be a little bit kind of um, uh, deceptive but I guess if you're only typing a one line message uh, character count is not going to be uh, too much of an issue and obviously um, uh, once you've had that on for a while um, you'll become quite accustomed to that uh, um, visual kind of disc discrepancy let's call it well there you go there's a look at some of the more subtle differences between the iPhone OS 3 software and the new iOS Four software which has been released by Apple today and is available for most users as a free download. My name's Simon, this is Tech My Life Video. Please rate and comment on my videos below. I'd love to hear your feedback and I'll see you next time. Bye.